everybody, Madrybread here. Guess what? We got the game working. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how we got the game working with the save file and everything. It's wonderful. Um, I made the video a few days ago. Uh, I actually ended up getting the game working like the next afternoon, I think it was. Uh, but I didn't have any time to make a video letting you know, so I just tweeted it out and let people know. I had a lot of suggestions from you guys on how to get Deus Ex Human Revolution working again. Uh, some of them more sane than others. <laughs> so, so many people, so many people told me delete your cloud save. Why would you jump straight to that? Anyway, um, so uh, a bunch of people though said, hey, uh, a lot of old games uh, will have a hard time running on new systems because it'll have too many cores, like too many CPU cores. And when I read that, I was like, oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. I've actually run into a problem kind of like that before. It was um, a game called Hammer and Sickle. It's some like Russian RPG uh, from mid 2000s, early 2000s, maybe. Uh, you know, Silent Storm, uh, same game engine, same developers. Anyway, that game doesn't run if your computer has more than <laughs> more than four gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, they really future-proof that one, right? Uh, but you could fix it. You literally just get like a cracked version of the EXE for the game, or you could do it yourself in a hex editor, I guess. Um, and it would just make it so the game doesn't check for your RAM anymore. And then the game runs fine. Uh, in fact, a funny thing about that game is it doesn't run on anything newer than Windows 7 because the Russian DRM for that game is so bad, it'll crash your whole computer. And I like, I literally own the discs. Like it's, it's in my closet over there. I actually own the discs for the game, but to be able to play the game, you can, it still plays smooth as butter on Windows 10. You just have to get like a crack for the EXE, like as if you were torrenting it or something. Um, to make the DRM go away, the DM will the DRM will crash the game. But like, even if you own the game, oh, it's DM DRM's the worst. Anyway, so this is a similar issue. I think it was only one or two people though said, "Hey, on the Nexus Mod Manager, uh, there is this thing called Startup Fix, and it says it's fixing if it's not starting up because you have too many cores." That makes a lot of sense, because you know when I move the drives from the old computer to the new computer, the new computer has more cores in the CPU than the old computer. So I download it, it's literally just a replacement for the EXE, and let me show you. Okay, so here we are on my Steam. If we go to Deus Ex Human Revolution here, uh, I have the new EXE, just, you know, I, I wrote over the old one. Actually, I renamed the old one just in case I still needed it and then put the uh, new one in. And now if I hit play, we give it a second. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's the game. And if I hit continue, and, and we give it a second. Hey, we're where we left off. I mean, you can't tell that we're where we left off um, because episode 25, I, I never ended up fully editing episode 25. And so, uh, you know, you, you only saw episode 24. You don't know that we left off here, but spoilers for episode 25. This is where episode 25 ends. So yeah, I recovered the, the, the everything. The save file was still in the Steam cloud. Thank God, I was a little bit concerned about that. But we got the game working. It's like the proper save file. We have all of our equipment here and, and all of our, our everything, just like on the Let's Play, which means we can get it going again. We can we can play the game again, which I'm super excited for. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video, I guess. Uh, I do need to get back to some Pokemon Challenge stuff today. I need to do my stretching routine. But first, my beautiful Zit Remedy shirt. Are you seeing this? Is this out of focus? It might be. My eyeballs are out of focus because I don't have my glasses on. Would you look at that? The Zit Remedy? You know, from Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. You know that like ancient Canadians like me like, might know. Not the Drake show, not that one. That's Degrassi Next Generation, which I've seen like a little bit of whatever. I watched the old one, which honestly is too old even for me. Like most of that came out before I was born, but I love it and I rewatch it with my family once every few years, all of Degrassi High and Degrassi Junior High and School's Out the movie that makes you hate half the characters. <laughs> Look, 
all you need to know is the the like one person watching this, either than me in editing, who's actually seen Degrassi Junior High and Junior High is freaking out at how awesome this shirt is. Is Christmas gift from my sister. Apparently it was like limited run, sold out in 30 minutes. This shirt this is like not not one of a kind, but you know, very limited. Oh, very proud of that. Um, yeah, I should get back to work. Until next time, have a nice day.